Welcome back to another product review, and today I'm going to take a look at the art of Batman. The movie The Batman is out on a digital. You can buy it. It's going to be out on 4K and Blu-ray very soon. Pre-ordered, of course. And yesterday I got the art of book, so I want to take a look at it. This is the front, the back, the spine. art. I'm a massive Batman fan, so this is going to be mostly me going, oh, <laughs> yes. Actually, I took a look at this. I love stuff like that. I was hoping, there I say spoiler, for more Batman suit explorations. I love stuff like this. I would have loved massive amount of pages exploring the suit. Now, it does have, you know, early designs, explorations like this. This goes on the bat suit. That's cool. I like seeing this. These are all the old logos that they used so far. In explanations as to why they have this here. It's a cool read too, of course. Cool gadgets. Got the CG version here. More suit designs. That's cool. I like seeing this. And then we continue on to gadgets. But that's kind of it in terms of the bat suit. That's the biggest bummer. I do love stuff like that. I love seeing all those design drawings, explorations. That's cool to see in detail. The movie is pretty dark, so you don't always get to see all that detail. So I like seeing that. And then we switch over to the Batmobile. So like I said, I would have loved to see more bat suit variations. Maybe they're keeping this for sequels or I don't know what, but that's a bit of a bummer. That's cool though. I like that. So cool to see him here. Spoiler territory towards the end, of course. This is actually the uh, the bike that you see towards the end of the movie. Spoilers! Batcave, that's cool. I do like seeing this in the Batcave, but Wayne Manor headed towards the Batcave. These are taken more so directly here from the movie. Very cool. Love seeing that. Bruce Wayne, we're getting into character stuff. That is a really nice looking car, I have to say. It's also cool seeing every now and then they put in some of the comic strips or just panels, just kind of compare. See that? It's pretty fast and furious going through the characters. Spending some time on the Riddler and then that's it. The apartment. I think the set design has a bit more exploration than the characters. There I say, that's kind of cool though. I, love, I like seeing all of these from the movie. And then we go straight to the city hall. Again, that's cool. I like all of this, but even for him, I would have loved to see more, maybe like costume variations or costume designs. There I say, that's cool. That is cool. Now towards the end is a bit more of that, which is awesome. These two are awesome. I love their voices in the movie. I could listen to them. I got to Google them and or IMDb them and see that is cool. See more of that. I would have loved 10 pages of this. I am greedy. But anyway, I want to see and uh, I want to look up those actors and see what they're doing in terms of you know other roles. That's all cool. That's all cool because their voices are great. I want to listen to them in other movies. That's all cool. I love seeing all of this. Like, that's neat. I like that. I'm just greedy when it comes to Batman and the suit. I love seeing this though. That's definitely great. These are more promotional images. That's cool. I like seeing that. Classic Catwoman stuff in here. Then we got awesome actor. If you haven't seen Severance, by the way, he's also great in Severance. Interior is great. The Iceberg Lounge. It's more of an art of. It's not really a making of. It doesn't really talk about the extensive stagecraft work that ILM did. This is cool. See, that is cool. But then that's it. I would have loved to see, I know, more design variations, sketches, explorations. But that is cool. I love seeing this. VR to screen. Oh, stuff like that with the silhouettes. I love that. So it's not all bad. I am a massive fan, so I'm devouring all of this. It's definitely cool but I would have loved to see slightly more. Again, that's cool. I like seeing that. You can see the exploration and the planning for it. City outside, now that's cool. That's some awesome artwork. That's definitely something I'm not gonna complain about. <laughs> 
Very cool. Square Garden, we're we getting into spoilers. This is the end. Cool. Anything with bat ears and bat wings. Awesome. Spoiler! Yeah. Cool suit. Love it. And there we go. The end Ugh. of the book. There you have it. Still cool. I like it. Ugh, I would have loved to see more. More sketches, more exploration, more variations on the suit and some of the character stuff, like early design explorations. But maybe there's more at a later point. I'm not sure. Now, if you want a really cool Batman book that really scratches all those itches in terms of designs and characters, then it's this one. This one is awesome. Check out another video on my channel. I'm gonna take a look at this as well. And that's that for this flip through. Thank you for watching and I will see you in one of my next uploads.